Hey, you know, it was wet yesterday. We had the showers moving on through as we go into this afternoon into the evening now. It's going to kind of pick things back up again. We have that atmospheric river that I was mentioning. That's going to be moving on in as we go into uh, this evening. More so tonight. Here's a look at Vancouver. The low clouds in place. Very similar scene to what we were just looking at out the coin tower too. Of course, right across the river here. 50 degrees for Vancouver. East southeast breeze coming in seven miles per hour. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Again, we had a little sliver of blue sky early on Saturday and then it kind of just turned gray from that point on. Hopefully we can work a little more sunshine in this week, but it sure looks like it's going to be pretty overcast. McMinnville, this is a wonderful view there. We have some green fields. This is out of the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. Always just a fantastic place. So if you get the opportunity to get out there, 52 degrees. The wind is calm right now. There's some very light rain trying to work through areas of Portland, Beaverton and Lake Oswego here. Uh, this is not going to be that main event in the moisture from the atmospheric river that's moving on in. Uh, that's going to arrive a little bit later today. Kind of some spotty showers off towards the west. Then you can see some heavy rain over the Pacific Ocean right now. That's part of the moisture that's going to be rolling on in with this atmospheric river. That you can see that stream connecting all the way down to the south. Here's the core of the system right here. That's that area of low pressure and then the fronts that are also associated with it. We're going to turn it over to water vapor so we can see how much moisture is kind of in the air. And you can see that green tint there that's mixed into the gray. So that's some deeper moisture. But it sure looks like it's going to more so reach areas of California and weather models are starting to back off on our rain totals for today and for our Tuesday. And I think it's because of that reason. Uh, sure seems like things kind of get settled down a little bit farther to the south. So here's the precipitable water. This is another way to kind of gauge that deeper moisture that we talk about with that atmospheric river. And look what happens. It kind of veers right into California. Now we'll still gather some of that moisture, but this doesn't seem like it's going to be as deep as what we had seen maybe this weekend. So do plan on some rain. It's going to be wet, but it's not going to be uh, probably passing an inch of rain or anything like that. We do bring in some more moisture as we go into probably Thursday and Friday, which means we'll have more rain events later this week. Hourly precip planner, so we do pick things up a little bit as we head into the afternoon and then kind of keep it fairly steady as we go into the evening hours, at least for the chance of rain. We are going to pull in some warmer air out of the southwest here, so that's going to warm things up, especially for southwest Oregon and south central Oregon. But we get into late Tuesday night and into Wednesday, we bring in some cooler air, which will lower the snow levels once again, allowing for uh, maybe some snowfall for the mountains below the passes. So you can see that right here, that line dips below government camp on Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday morning and into Wednesday afternoon before it jumps right back on up on Thursday when we get some more moisture. 34 degrees right now coming out of Mount Hood. The ski report over the last 24 hours, anywhere from about six, to seven, eight inches, even to about 10 inches there for Bachelor. As we go through the rest of the day, you can see that moisture moving on in. Heavy rain down to the southwest, but yeah, pretty much the whole Willamette Valley will be seeing some shower activity from about seven to about midnight or so. And then it really becomes fractured and broken as we go through our Tuesday. Um, not as uh, put together, we could say. And so we'll just see some scattered showers. Wednesday looks to be mainly dry before we have another event arrive on St. Patrick's Day, probably in the second part of the day. But Thursday doesn't look all that wet. It's going to be more so on Friday when we get more rain arriving as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. All right, so here you go, seven-day forecast. Monday at 52, that's today. We go 55 tomorrow. Again, maybe a couple heavier showers Maybe a thunderstorm out there Wednesday at 54 degrees, St. Patrick's Day at 55. Mm -hmm. This is just a wet forecast, Jenny. First yeah. day of spring officially begins on Sunday. Temperatures in the 50s. There. Okay, well, you know, we need the rain, so this is good. Right? We definitely need the rain. Things kind of go the other direction come April, so yeah. we'll take as much as we can now. So we were to see you like right here at the desk. Right here. Yeah. And it's <laughs> a whole new world. Hopefully it stays this way. Yeah, <laughs> All that's right. True. We'll be right back with more news and a final check on the forecast.